Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime Today. Should we get started? Here we go. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Good job. All right, let's do the more we get together. You ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. One more time. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Bravo. All right, let's see if you know your colors. Here we go. If you're wearing pink today, pink today, pink today, if you're wearing pink today, stand up and shout hooray! If you're wearing blue today, blue today, blue today, if you're wearing blue today, stand up and shout hooray! If you're wearing green today, green today, green today, if you're wearing green today, stand up and shout hooray! If you're wearing orange today, orange today, orange today, if you're wearing orange today, stand up and shout hooray! If you're wearing white today, white today, white today, if you're wearing white today, stand up and shout hooray! Good job. All right, you guys know the drill. Here we go. Rum pum pum, this is my drum. Rum pum pum, this is my drum. My name is. Yell it out nice and loud. Good job, Miss Kate. On the count of three, I want you to yell your name out as loud as you can. Ready? One, two, three. Good job. All right, friends, are you ready to read some books about dragons today? I am. So here we go, you ready? Our first one is called, There's a Dragon in Your Book. And this is by Tom Fletcher and illustrated by Greg Abbott. And it comes to us from Random House. So here we go, are you ready? Oh look, there's an egg in your book. It looks ready to hatch. Whatever you do, don't turn the page. I can't believe you did that. The egg hatched and now there's a dragon in your book. Don't be scared, it's a baby dragon. Go ahead and tickle her little nose. Can you tickle your nose? Tickle, 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 boop, boop, boop. Achoo! Oops, the dragon accidentally sneezed. A fire in your book. We need to put it out quickly. Help dragon blow out the flame and turn the page. On the count of three, I want you to blow on the flame. Ready? One, two, three. Oh no, your dragon didn't blow out the fire. She blew more fire. Carefully cover the flames by turning the page and tap it down. That should put them out. Ready? It didn't work. They're getting bigger. Don't get too close. If only we could think of a way to put out the fire. That's it. Use your imagination to put out the fire. Imagine a great big water balloon right in the middle of the next page. Make sure it's full and ready to pop. Can you see it? Can you see that water balloon? <gasps> Perfect. Now use your finger to pop the balloon and get ready for the pop. Splash! Hooray! You put out the fire. Give the dragon a high five. High five. You have a great imagination and dragon must be a little hungry now. Why don't you use your imagination again to think up a yummy treat for her? 
How about a triple scoop of yummy ice cold chocolate and strawberry <gasps> ice cream with sprinkles. Wow, that looks delicious. Yum. Well, Dragon must be tired after all that adventure. I think it's time for her to fly home. She's probably very full. She's going to need some help taking off. Flap the book up and down like giant dragon wings. Almost there. Keep flapping. Ready? We're going to do it like this. Let's see if she got off. Ready? There she goes. Goodbye, dragon. Wave goodbye and turn the... Hang on a second. What's this? Oh, look. More eggs. Whatever you do, don't turn the page. Uh-oh, I think it's time to close the book. <gasps> Carefully. Let's make sure those baby dragons all stay in the book. Ready? <gasps> the end. Good job. Well done, my friends. All right. How about if we sing when the animals get up in the morning today and we'll do a little dragon as our first animal, okay? What does a dragon say? Rawr. Good job. And we will also do, let's do a horse. And how about if we do um, a dog? Okay, so here we go, ready? When a dragon gets up in the morning, she always says good day. When a dragon gets up in the morning, she always says good day. She says, roar. That is what she says. She says, roar. That is what she says. When a horse gets up in the morning, he always says good day. When a horse gets up in the morning, he always says good day. He says, nay. That is what he says. He says, nay. That is what he says. When a dog gets up in the morning, she always says good day. When a dog gets up in the morning, she always says good day. She says, woof, woof, woof. That is what she says. She says, woof. That is what she says. When the children get up in the morning, they always say good day. When the children get up in the morning, they always say good day. They say hooray. That is what they say. They say hooray. That is what they say. Good job. All right, should we go to the moon today? I think we should. So here we go. Let's be safe. Put your hands way up high in the sky. Grab your helmet. Bring it down. Go Click, click, give it a good clunk. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Good job. All right, my friends, how about if we sing Hermie the Worm today? Ready? Here we go. Sitting on a white fence to my bubble gum. Listening to my headphones, do da do da do. When along came Hermie the Worm, and he was this big. And I said, Hermie, what happened? I had breakfast. What do you think he had for breakfast? Pancakes. Oh my goodness. Sitting on a white fence to my bubble gum. Listen to my headphones, do da do da do. When along came Hermie the worm, and he was this big. And I said, Hermie, what happened? I have lunch. What did he have for lunch? More pancakes. Oh goodness. Sitting on a white fence, chew my bubble gum. Listen to my headphones, do da do da do. When along came Hermie the worm, and he was this big. And I said, Hermie. What happened? I had dinner. What do you think you had for dinner? Pancakes again? Oh, goodness gracious. <gasps> Sitting on a white fence, chew my bubble gum. <sniffs> Listen to my headphones, do da do da do. On along came Hermie the worm, and he was this big. And I said, Hermie, what happened? I had dessert. And what did he have for dessert? Pancakes with ice cream. I could get behind that. 
Sitting on a white fence, chew my bubble gum. Listening to my headphones, do 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 do. When along came Hermie the worm, and he was this big. And I said, Hermie, what happens? I burped. Excuse me. Good job. All right. I think I hear a bumblebee. Do you guys hear a bumblebee? Here it comes. Bzzz. Here is the beehive. But where are all the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Here they come. One, two, three, four, five. Bzzz. Good job, everyone. Are you ready for another book? Here we go. This one is called Again, and it's by Emily Gravett, and it comes to us from Simon & Schuster. Here we go. It was nearly bedtime. Cedric the dragon's a bright, angry red. He's never, his whole life, not once been to bed. At nighttime, when everyone else is asleep, he noisily prowls through the tower, then leaps down to the bridge to be nasty and sly and torment the trolls, who by nature are shy. When what... When that makes him hungry, he rides to the, he takes to the skies, grabbing princesses to turn into pies, or occasionally crumbles, or sometimes just toast, if crumbles or pies would take too long to roast. At the end of each day, he shouts out this refrain, Tomorrow I'll do it all over again. Again? Cedric the dragon's a bright angry red. He's never his whole life not once been to bed. At nighttime when Cedric should be asleep, he noisily stomps through the tower then leaps down to the bridge to say a big sorry for teasing the trolls who do tend to worry. When that makes him hungry, he takes out a pie which he shares with the trolls. Then heaving a sigh, he goes home to his tower and shouts this refrain, tomorrow I'll do it all over again. <gasps> Again! Cedric the dragon's a big sleepy head. He's decided it's time he was really in bed. He's made friends with the princess and wished her good night. The trolls are all happy. The moon is out bright. Now I'm closing the book and staying quite plain. Tomorrow I'll read it all over again. <gasps> again, again! Cedric the dragon is no longer red, as Cedric the dragon's asleep in his be... Again, again, again! Again, 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 again! Again! Uh-oh. There's a hole in the book. The end. Oh my goodness. <gasps> that little dragon got too angry, too wa too uh, excited to read his book again. <gasps> my goodness. All right, my friends. I think we have time for maybe two more songs today. So how about if we sing to Mr. Sun? He's right up here saying hello to you. So let's make a big old sun. Here we go. Mr. Sun, sun. Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so you, we can play with you. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? Good job. And let's do two goodbye songs today, okay? Our first one is going to be If You're Happy and You Know It. So here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. If you're happy and you know it, flap your wings. 
If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, flap your wings If you're happy and you know it, stick out your tongue If you're happy and you know it, stick out your tongue If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it If you're happy and you know it, stick out your tongue If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet if you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you're happy and you know it stomp your feet if you're happy and you know it wave goodbye bye bye if you're happy and you know it wave goodbye bye bye if you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you're happy and you know it wave goodbye bye bye all right everyone let me see two big goodbye hands bye see you later have a wonderful day Goodbye, see you soon. Goodbye, see you soon. Goodbye, see you soon on another day. Goodbye, see you soon. Goodbye, see you soon. Goodbye, see you soon on another day. Well done, everyone. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Go outside and pretend to be a dragon surveying your domain. And don't forget to click below in the comments for a fun dragon craft you can do as a family. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.